Hello traders, welcome to Forex Trading Wizard Academy. In this channel, every day I provide complete breakdown of hottest Forex currency pair based on price section trading system to help you to find the best possible trading setup. Let me introduce myself. My name is Neza. I'm a professional Forex trader and also author of Trading View, founder of Forex Trading Wizard Academy. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and also press the bell notification button so that you don't miss out any of the content that I release almost every day, including tutorial, educational content and strategies. With that said, let's jump onto the chart to see what current CPR we are covering today. Okay, traders, so the pair we will be looking today is Euro JPY. So let's first start with the monthly time frame. So why monthly? Because higher time frame is where you will get the clear picture, clear direction of the market, removing all the noise of the market. So let's start with the monthly time frame. So on the monthly, what we see the instrument historically created this double bottom and then it started to move up. So when you see a double bottom like that, it is a sign of trend change. And that is what happened. The price changed its trend from down to the up and it started to create thing an impulse followed by a correction has been another impulse followed by now it is in another correction phase. And also, how do you know that this is in an uptrend by analyzing market structure? So if you see an instrument is going like this, creating a higher high and higher low, that means it is in an uptrend. So in that case, we can see an uptrend with the Euro JPY. Now it is in a downward correction phase. That means locally it is in a downtrend on the monthly time frame now at this point if you see the previous two months it has created two bearish candle now what we can expect at this point where you can expect this price to come we can expect this price to come to this level why because if you see this is the previous swing high where the price went there rejected to the downside broke above so when you see an uptrending market creating a higher high and higher low, in most cases when it is come to the retracement, we can expect this resistance come to test as a support here before moving to the upside or breaking down. In that case, Euro JPY, we can expect this instrument to come to this level to test this previous resistance this previous resistance as a support to this level and also if you see current current month's candle this is gonna be uh, there will be a new candle this is the month is almost closed now if you see there is a, a long week at the bottom so that means it has enough retracement it is a healthy candle we can expect after a little retracement to the upside to come down to fill this week and also test this previous level so on the monthly we have a bearish momentum to the downside now let's go up to the um, weekly time frame to see what kind of information we have now on the weekly we have a good information because if you see this breakdown to the downside and after that we see this green candle now after the green candle we see another breakdown now we see another retracement now previous two weeks candle if you see this one rejected from here now it has created a pin bar after such a pin bar we could expect to move another push to the upside but um, what happened the buyers was not strong enough this candle this weekly candle is a you know sign of weak buyer why because see the top of the candle there is no body at all it's a dodgy candle that means buyers couldn't push the price high sellers took control at the end of the day so we can see a push to the downside after this candle now one thing we have to be aware that this is still creating higher high and higher low that means in these two candles locally on the lower time frame it is still in an uptrend so how will be approaching this instrument in that case we can see see this is another level 
here this is a weekly swing high important level the, the price went there rejected to the downside broke above you know after this breaking above what happened the price came here see rejected again as it acted as a support went up now after that what happened the price broke this level now we can expect a retest of this structure as a resistance before moving to the downside so in that case on the weekly we can see a little push to the upside to test this level let's jump on to the daily time frame to see what kind of information we have now on the daily the situation is very very clear see the previous two two days candle what we see that the top it has created lower high and the bottom it has created higher lows that means it is basically in the lower time frame if you go to so say hourly or 15 minutes we will see a symmetrical triangle so when you see a symmetrical triangle in a downtrending market what we can expect is to break to the downside to continue its downtrend right but what we might see a break to the upside first to test this level as a resistance and then breaking to the downside now this is a this could be a manipulation leg by the bank or you know institution so what we will be waiting with our student basically is to see a price action pattern in this zone going up test this level creating a you know double bottom double top or head and shoulder any kind of price action pattern to give us an indication to go for short from here to take this move to the downside with a very good risk to reward ratio now if you find value in this analysis thumbs up leave a comment below follow me on instagram and also subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching i'll see you in my next analysis